Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together. Uh, today we have an answer from Mr. Uh, Insan. And Mr. Insan looked like he will never answer me. He just will make videos like, like a person who is talking to himself. Like... Uh, Mr. Insan, if you remember, uh, or maybe you don't remember, you made already two videos for me and I respond to you. I made you shish kebab and everybody is laughing at you. And I took a selfie of you holding a book, it's called The Fifth Gospel. And you fool, you accuse your prophet in your video to be a fraud. And you told me that this is a book to trust and this is a book to learn from, which is a book saying that Jesus was not a prophet and he was not son of God and he was not a crucified and maybe she was not a virgin. 90% of this teaching is against Islam. Proving to me that you are a fool, siding with the atheist to prove a point, which is stupid of you. And yet you ignore it. You went away for three days and you, you came back to me with what? No answer. And look what you did. Let us watch today's video <clears throat> and die laughing. Here we go. The drama again will start. <laughs> I mean, from all the Muslims in the world, the Muslims, they could not get me something better than this. This is the best of you. And I mean, by the way, I'm surprised. I mean, the, the ruler of Jakarta, the mayor of Jakarta, or governor, I don't know what he was, uh, he just said, some politician use Islam for their agenda. You put him in, in jail for two years. You just insulted Muhammad, saying that the Quran is a fabricated book. Holding a book in your hand, saying this is the book to teach us the truth. Saying that Mary, <clears throat> she was not a virgin and, and Jesus was not a prophet. And he is not born of a virgin. And he was a crucified. Yet you are saying to Muslims, I, I invite all Muslims to buy this book in his hand just to show you that this, this guy is a donkey, certified donkey. He is teaching you things against Islam. This is how full you are. And where is your answer? Nowhere to be found. So all the videos I made and I got you busted from every verse you mentioned, where is the answer? You get me this. Look at this. Hilarious. <clears throat> Hold on. Christian Prince always invite Insan to debate. Okay, and what is the answer? Face to face. To, uh, all the Muslims want to debate me face to face. Nobody want to debate me ass to ass. Praise be to Allah ass. All of them, they want to debate me face to face. You idiot. Aren't you already debating me? Not face to face. So what the problem? Is that face to face now? This video you are making for me, you donkey. You certified camel. If you will not talk to me unless I do face to face. So why you are making this video, you idiot? Do you see how coward they are? Because they don't know what to say. A live debate will expose who knows and who don't know. Not like I go and I print 1,000 articles. Actually, I changed the topic. My topic was not this one. All of you know, I was going to talk about Mr. Geigo. Correct? <clears throat> I wasn't prepared for this, but somebody sent me a link saying this guy, he made a video. So I said, okay, we have better fun. <laughs> All of them will debate me face to face, brother. Christopher, I trained you. I trained you debate me faith to faith. You bring with you 2,000 people. This is what Dr. Nayak said to me. I need to bring with me 2,000 people to Bangladesh. And what we will do, we will debate faith to faith. You donkey. The governor of Jakarta, governor, just because he is a Christian and he said some politicians, they are using Islam for politics, you put him in jail for two years. So imagine somebody says that Muhammad was a donkey. And you are inviting me to come to Jakarta. What a donkey you are. And you guarantee me my safety. You cannot guarantee your own safety there, you idiot.
Mm. Hey, no, I cannot take my mask. Sorry, I'm 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 Zorro. <laughs> I'm Zorro with the mask. <laughs> Unbelievable! You are so funny. You are so funny. Very cute. Okay, what do you want to tell us now? Go. He will pay me for a ticket. Now I will go. Here we go. He will buy me a ticket. Oh man, I will go to Indonesia and eat all this Indonesian yummy, yummy food. Unbelievable. Ooh, he's as long as you have, you must have, you have money to pay for a Christian Prince ticket. What about feeding the poor in Somalia who they are dying by, by tens of thousands? You hypocrite. Now you have money. What about you pay the money you are going to send to me to those poor Indonesian who they've been abused in Arabia or raped? 1,200 maid killed in Saudi Arabia and disappear. And until now, nobody knows where they disappear. Shame on you. Potato. You need to buy a ticket and to come to visit me. You are so cute. I wish I can grow in my backyard, but the city will not allow me. Hmm. What, what? We will guarantee the safety of his, her, her, his Christian. My name is Christian now. Christian Prince and Henry. <laughs> Oof. Mean. And we can assure you all those above on paper, my safety will be in a paper. <laughs> you idiot. You Muslims killed the Caliphate Uthman. The Caliphate. Not only you killed him, before you killed him, you took the hair of his beard one by one. Then you cut your head. Then you play with it volleyball and football. And then after that, you refuse to bury him with the Muslims. And after that, you drag him in the street. And after that, at night, by secretly, some Muslims, they stole his body and buried him between the Jews. You idiot. You Muslims killed the Ali. Killed the family of Ali. Killed the grandsons of Muhammad. You idiot. You killed your own caliphate. You idiot. You killed each other. Aisha, she took an army of 10,000 fighters to fight Ali and kill him. You idiot. A Muslim want to grant me safety. You cannot grant safety for anything in Islam. You know, this, this is Islam, my friend. It's a gang system. Stupid. Continue. What do you want to tell us today? And please, guys, stop laughing. Please, so respect, brother. Okay? Christian Prince should be having grateful for Ustaz. I'm very grateful. Do you see? We switch our topic just because you, uh, you are Mr. Bean, my friend. Mr. Bean. I'm Mr. Bean. You see, we have many Mr. Bean. We have Dr. Zakar Naik, we have uh, Rashid, we have... Uh, you know, and you are one of them. Mr. Bean. Well, tell us, I, I'm very grateful. Who said I'm not grateful? <laughs> hmm. Now, for God's sake, go to the topic, man. Are you going to spend this type of newspaper for me? Why you don't say it in the video? Are we going to spend the whole... Uh, the, and uh, one minute is gone. The whole video is 10 minutes. And one minute is just typing for you. To be honest. Christian Prince knowledge only. A. Eh? As deep as Ustaz. Insan. Assistant therefore. What? What? <laughs> hmm. Oh boy. For us, video call through Skype is just instrumental argument with no clear goals of an, an ending. What do you want? Do you want happy ending? <laughs> the ending is always clear, my idiot. My favorite idiot. We are laughing at you. Everybody else. You see, listen, I, I will have a deal with you. You see, I am playing your video on my channel. And I respond to you. Do you dare to play your video and your respond? my video and you respond in your channel like this one and the one before it and the one before it. you will not because you're a potato as long as you have super knowledge and you are super you are a batman actually 
Actually, I noticed that one of your fingers is kind of uh, like a, a fishy, you know? Maybe because you are digging too much in your nose when you watch my videos. What is that, man? Clear goals and ending? Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Christian Prince. What? Stop, that's me. Let me introduce myself. Brother and sister, I am Christian Prince. And Muslim, they all want to have done them, they want to debate me faith to faith. And one of the unique things that I can be debated only faith to faith. Nobody will ever debate me except faith to faith. Because simply, Muslim can debate me only faith to faith. And their answer will not come unless I am faith to faith. Simply because Islam is a faith faith religion. Thank you very much. Okay, Christian Prince, what? Why don't you try? Hold on, I want to stop with this why. This why alone need, need a movie. Your why is coming like coming from inside the deep, deep, deep hole. What, what, I say why again? Christian Prince, why don't you try? Stop. That's, that is something. I never heard such a why before. Say it again. Christian Prince, why don't you? Oh boy, I'm dead. It's time to go. I cannot hear it one more time. I'm being tortured now. What? Christian Prince, why don't you? <sighs> okay. I get it. You are saying to me why. I thought you are crying or something or... Okay, this is just a why in English. All right, no problem. No problem. I got it. I got it. No, no, no need to... Please don't repeat it. Please, no, don't repeat again. Christian Prince, why don't you try to learn the Bible more and read it correctly? I'm learning from you. You, you forgot yesterday, a few days ago, you told me to read this book to learn from it. I did. <laughs> and I learned from there that your prophet is a fraud. <laughs> and the Messiah was crucified. <laughs> Aren't you the one who advised me to read from this Bible because you said they are the expert? What's wrong with you? I did. The expert, huh? Okay. But don't say again why, please. I mean, say any word you want. Forget about why. Say how, what, but why? No, just skip it. If you do so, you will surely find that... What? I mean, are you going to expand all the words like this? Is it a snake talk? What is this? You will find there... You know, somebody changed the battery of this guy. What's uh, Talk to me like a man, man. What is this? Jesus was only sent to his own people. The Stop. Jesus was sent only to his own people. Okay. Take a note, please. So the whole point of this video, why Jesus sent to his own people? children of Israel to question to you who is the children of Israel I mean you're an idiot you are following a prophet who told you the word the children of Israel but he never told you who's Israel did he can you show me where in the Quran it says who is this guy Israel he was saying to the children of Israel okay well, but who is Israel uh, just wait for the spanking will come at the end to the descendant of Jacob, not to all. Descendant of Jacob? Where do you get this from? In Islam, you Muslims, you learn in the Quran that the children of Israel are descendant of Jacob. So Jacob and Israel are different persons? Hmm? Hello? Why? All men, not to the whole universe or not to all, all for the world. Guys, do you want me to make a comment or just let it go and spank him at the end? What do you want? Tell me. Uh, brother and sister, we are a company corporation and we do care for our customer. And customer comfort. So my dear customer, do you like us to make comment immediately or leave it for later? Do you want comment immediately or leave it for later? The customer are not responding. 
برادر وين ذا كاستمر ليت هيم جو سبانك ليتر اور اميديتلي وات وي ويل دو يو تيل مي جيف مي ذا كونستراكشن بليز ميك كومنت اوكي وي ميك كومنت You guys are very, 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 very naughty. You are very naughty. You are very, you could do very naughty. You, know, you, you like to comment, huh? You like spanky right away, huh? Unbelievable. Bad boys, bad boys. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when I come for you? Okay. So Jesus was sent only to his people. Okay. Even before Jesus was born, mm -hmm. he was promised by God to be the savior of his people, the children. What a disaster for Islam. The savior? What, 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 what? He is what? What, 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 what you just said? He will be what? Hold on, hold on. I want Muslim to listen what your Turkey is saying. You know what Turkey is a bird, you know, Turkey, you can search it in Google. Look what your Turkey just said. He will be what? Say it again. Of his people. No, no, no. God to be the savior of his people. The chief. He is a savior. He is not a prophet. Did you hear it? Is Muhammad the savior of Muslims? No. Is Muhammad the savior of mankind? No. Who is the savior? God. You just agreed that the Bible prophesied that Jesus is Savior. He is the one who can save. No one else. Oh, what you are saying now, for the children of Israel, take a note. Children of Israel. Hmm. Pay attention to the gospel according to the Matthew chapter number 1, verse number 21. I like it when he got reference in the front of him. Suddenly he is so fast. I mean, suddenly this guy, he speaks so fast. Chapter Matthew, the first of the one, like he want to show you, like he, he knew what he's talking about. He have a screen in front of him, he's reading. Matthew, chapter 1, verse number 21. Okay, what it says in Matthew, chapter 1, verse number 21. She, Mary, will have a son, and you will name him Jesus, because he will save his people from they sins in that verse it is not mentioned that jesus will save the world but he was just sent to his own people the children of israel brother here you got me here you got me i'm in a i'm in trouble um honestly I'm in trouble. So in Matthew chapter 1, verse number 21, mm, you know, just to show people that you are a potato, and I am here to fry you even without using oil, because this is one of my skills. I don't use oil at all. Pfft, man, the oil will spoil the food. <laughs> I like it crunchy with no oil. Let us go to Matthew chapter 1, and everybody will die laughing at you, you idiot. This is Matthew, <clears throat> chapter 1. You see, when Muslims, they quote for us something, they help us to prove Islam to be a fraud. Remember, he is quoting of his own choice, so there is no way he made a mistake. He studied it. He took camel urine with it. He prayed to Allah before it and after it, and Allah guide him. So look what it says in Matthew, the chapter 1 and this is the verses you quote for us and shall bring forth a son though it shall call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sin so the name of Jesus is not just a name you just admit it he is the Savior this is what Jesus mean according to you your explanation right Regardless if I agree or not, but for sure I agree that Jesus is the Savior. His name shall be called Jesus. Why? For he shall save his people from their sin. 
how Jesus can save them from their sin, we will understand that soon. And now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with a child and shall bring forth a son. They shall call him his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Do you know what Emmanuel, you idiot, mean? God is with us. So you quote for us a verse saying Jesus was sent to Israel, but you are quoting for us a statement saying that Jesus is God. Do you see it? You can go right now and search in Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him, what Emmanuel mean. You will see that Emmanuel is a word mean God. And actually even the verse says that clearly. Let me highlight for those who they have a blindness. His name is Emmanuel, which being interrupted is God with us. So how come you saw verse number 21 and verse number 22, but you did not see verse number 23? Huh? So now we are quoting those verses to us to prove to us that Jesus was sent only to the Jews, but as God? Hello? You know, I noticed that the second you became a Muslim, you became super smart, genius, hilarious, beautiful, like mind blowing. I like it in English when they say mind blowing. You are mind blowing because simply you don't have mind to blow anyway. That's a miracle. It's like the Big Bang. You are the Big Bang itself, my friend. The, the Big Bang, they, 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 they say there was nothing and nothing explode, which is very funny and stupid. I mean, how nothing explode if there's nothing? Nothing explode? And that explosion from nothing caused nothing? Uh, okay, I've confessed. So this is what you do, Muslims. Hypocrite liars, you quote verses and you stop where you like to stop. And I want the Muslim to ask themselves the question. I don't want to ask the question by my own. Hold on. I don't want to do that. Because there is a sensitive word I cannot say, you know. Christian Prince, why don't you try to... Why don't you try to read the verse after it? Why? Huh? Why? You did not read the verse after it. Why? Christian Prince, why don't you try to... You chicken, stop saying why. You are giving me headache. So how come you don't see the verse after it? Because you are a fraud and you are trying to deceive, aren't you? Mr. Y, I wonder why, I wonder why. You told me about the blue, blue sky and all what I can see, a bunch of chicken around me. They say bark, bark, they say work, work, and they think they are duck, but they are chicken. And don't you see? What, why, and how come you did read the verse for us, but you did not read the verse after it? Why you stop there? Me. Okay. Let us go back where he stopped. Well, the children of Israel. Pay attention to the gospel according to the. I love it when they say be attention. The second a Muslim he say be attention, it's me go sleep. Be attention.
okay i'm all that this is your problem with me you muslims because nobody pay attention to you as i do and i make you the joke because i pay attention you muslim you open your mouth you say nothing when you talk because i am a person who pay attention your word became a joke listen carefully what he will say next the meet you chapter number one first number 21 she, Mary, will have a son and you will name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. He escaped Emmanuel, coward. In that verse, it is not mentioned That's not that mentioned. Jesus will save the world, mm. but he was just sent to his own people, the children of Israel. Mm. It's the same with gospel according to Luke chapter number one first. Stop. Now we go to Luke. Okay. Luke chapter number one. Verse number 31 and 33. That's it. He skipped the whole chapter. Those are the verses he liked. Tell us about Luke chapter one verse number 31 and 33, please, if you don't mind number 20 is 31 to 33 first number 31 you will become pregnant and give birth to a son and you will name him jesus he will be great and will be called the son of the most high god the what 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 no no what you say what what he just said muslims he is quoting for us a verse to prove that jesus was only sent to the jews but he just quote for us that jesus is the son of the most high god say it again say, what 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 you say what you say be called the son of the most high god oh if, 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 if you just destroy us now so you are saying you believe in those verses and this is why you are quoting those verses so you to prove to me them from those verses your point and your point now that jesus is the son of the most high god <laughs> unbelievable i need to take a vacation i'm going to have an attack from nothing what no no not, not, i'm trying to make it like him no not why what like why oh, 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 no i'm not able you see i can't make voices uh, mimic voices but this one is getting uh, why christian brands why insane why why you just said that the bible say clearly and you are the one who says to me where the traitor to you idiot aren't you the one who keeps saying where's the trinity where's the trinity where is the trinity and now you are quoting me a verse to prove a point, saying that Jesus is the son of the most high God. Say it again. Muslims, are you listening from Indonesia? We love you. Honestly, I love all Indonesian people. I love them. I, I'm very sure they are wonderful people. But it's a shame that some kind of idiot like those are the ones teaching you. Watch our videos and be the judge who have knowledge, who is speaking rubbish. And for the truth, we just heard that the Bible say clearly, and the Muslim delight to you saying, where, where in the Bible it says the Trinity? Where it says there's a father? Where it says there is a son? Where it says that Jesus is son of God? Where it says that? There's no proof of that. And he just said that. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. The Lord God will make him a king as his ancestor David was. And he will be the king of the descendant of Jacob forever. Once more, and he will be the king of the descendants of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Stop. Did you just say that his kingdom will never end? How that can be? How a kingdom will never end. 
Isn't it the Quran claim that Allah will destroy all kingdoms? Isn't it your prophet he saw it, told you that the earth Allah will grab it by his hand and he will wrap it? So how this kingdom will never end? End with where? End with no borders, end with no time. So the kingdom of Jesus is the whole universe. He is the king of the Jews, yes, but he is the king of a kingdom which will never end. You just confirm that. Stupidity is amazing. Because if the kingdom will never end, and Jesus, he went up to heaven, and that's it. There's no kingdom. What kingdom? Where is, the, where is this kingdom? Right? According to Muslims. Unless this kingdom is eternal kingdom. Correct? This kingdom will never end. No end for it. No end with time. No end with location. Continue. Forever. This kingdom will never end. In the both gospel, meet you and Lord. Hey, hold on. We are not done. Where you are skipping? Wait, 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 wait. You think you are done? No, 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 no. No, 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 We are not done with Luke, man. Are we done? You idiot. I hope idiot ones will not be upset from me for calling him idiot. Do you think I'm going to be sued by the idiots? Because he don't deserve even the name idiot? Let us go to Luke. <sighs> Let me open Luke. Hold on. Because I just remember something in Luke. In the same chapter he is quoting for us from. I mean. You know, Muslims, I'm sure one day you will accuse me that I paid this guy money to make fun of Islam. All right, this is Luke, chapter number one. And he was quoting for us from chapter 4, 31, 32, 33. All right, we go there. 31, 32, 33. And I want you Muslim to be my witness. <clears throat> When somebody says something to you, Muslims, do you go check it out or whatever the Muslim is say, you just take it? I think I know the answer. You don't check it out. Because if we go in the same page, in the same chapter, you will see something very, very important and very, very strange. Here we see the story where Mary and Elizabeth have a conversation. And you must have you believe in Zechariah's story and you believe in the prophet, his name is Yahya, which is supposedly John the Baptist. Look what in the same chapter, Elizabeth, she said to Mary. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the uh, solution of Mary, the baby leapt in her womb, the, the baby in, in the womb of uh, of Elizabeth moved and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost just because she heard of the story of Jesus or the story of Mary that she is going to have a child and she spoke out with loud voice and she said blessed are thou among women and blessed the fruit of the womb listen carefully She spoke something very important. For Lou, as soon as the voice of the solution sounded in mine ears, the baby lapped in my womb. 
with joy, for joy. In verse number 43, she said, And whence this is to me that the mother of my Lord shall should come to me. In the same chapter we have Elizabeth. The Holy Ghost blessed her and the child in her womb moved. And she spoke with high voice, saying that Mary, the mother of my God, should come to me. So the same verse you you know you try to, the same chapters you are quoting for us. Confirm that Jesus is the God of Elizabeth, the God of John the Baptist and the God of all mankind. Why you did not quote those verses? And if we read, we will find that all those things, the same, repeated over and over in the same chapter and other chapters. So what Muslim deceivers do, they quote for you from the Bible a verse, because that verse will sweep them for the reason they are trying to prove their point. By misquoting the verse saying it doesn't say the rest because either you take what it says or you don't take so how Mary she became the mother of the Lord and who is that Lord and why Jesus is Lord yet he is a child he's not even born yet continue liar What else? Now you can jump to the second one. Let us go on to the second one. He finished this one. Okay. In the book gospel, Matthew and Luke, it is said that Jesus was the savior of his own people, the children of Israel, the descendant of Jacob, not to the whole world. To be Clear. Please read the Act chapter number 13, verse number 23. God promised that someone from David's family will come to save the people of Israel, and that one is Jesus. Once more, God promise that someone from David's family will come to save the people of Israel and that one is Jesus stop uh, someone here is a Muslim he is saying to me repent the end is near you remind me of your prophet when he said the moon is split and the end is near which means you are the same as your prophet you are a false prophesying now when Muhammad he said the judgment day the moon split is near and the, uh, uh, the moon split and judgment day is near, he was making prophes prophecy that it's in the corner. Actually, he did not say even near. That is Sa'a wa Shaq al Qamar. It's almost in the door, the judgment day. And the moon split. So judgment day started, and this is 1400 years ago. My friend, what about you repent and kiss the black stone which is in the shape of a vagina so you can be forgiven? Isn't it the Muhammad who said, the one who touch it and kiss it, Allah will erase his sin? Actually, the stone will erase your sin. Repent, black stone kisser. I love you, stone. We are Muslim, we are not pagan, but we kiss stone because it's in the shape of a vagina. Stone. And you are asking me to repent, you idiot? Let us continue with this guy. He just said, he quote for us Act chapter 13 to prove to us what? That Jesus was sent to the children of Israel. <laughs> are you sure you are not paid by the Jews? The Christian Jews, the Messianic Jews. Because I don't know, you, you sound like you are giving me a hand to, to, to spank Muhammad. 
let us go to Acts chapter 13. And remember, the whole topic is Jesus was only sent to the Jews. Da -da 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 -da. Abdul, potato. I don't know if I can call you potato. That's an insult to potato. Potato are very tasty. I mean, no, why are you calling you potato? Okay. I will go. <clears throat> oh. Hold on. I mean, are those people serious? You must tell me you could not find something better than this guy. This is the guy who want to answer me. All right. No problem. Let us go to Act 13. And remember, he is the one who chose the chapter. Ta -da -da -da. Act 13 is in the screen. Do you see the title, you idiot? Abdul, do you see the title of chapter 13 in the book of Acts? You donkey. Paul and Barnabas are sent to the Gentiles. And you are quoting for us Act 13 to prove that Jesus was only sent to the Jews. La 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 la. You know, I'm thinking about your situation. I think your situation is because of the food you eat. I think Ramadan is affecting you, brother. So the idiot, he quote for us a book called Act 13 to prove to us that the Bible says it clearly that Jesus was sent to the Jews and the title of the chapter, Paul and Barnabas was sent to the Gentiles. And where? Simon was sent to call, was called a nigger, Lucas was a siren, okay, okay, and then, you see in the front of you, it says, this, uh, the, the, the one after it says, preaching in Cyprus. Ah, Cyprus, this is an island in Israel, brother, in the middle of the Mediterranean. <laughs> but aren't Cyprus is a Greek island? What? He was sent only to the Jews. And then he went to the city and he went to Cy in Cyprus and they were preaching there. The chapter after it, or the, 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 in the same uh, title, he, they went to Antioch and Presidia. Antioch and Presidia is the land of the Jews, brother. As I know, it's in Turkey now. Hello? So you're quoting for the poor Abdul verses to prove that Jesus was only sent to the Jews. And this is in a chapter saying that we've been sent to the Gentiles. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Can I find one Muslim have little intelligence? Uh, I mean, how you can find that? Somebody believe that his God will make his penis English. By the way, I thought about this English penis. I thought about it a lot. And especially after I watched a documentary about the Brazil Amazon River. They have fish. They can eat any flesh go in the water. And imagine like you have, you are Abdul and your penis is endless and he go in that river in Amazon and those fish are biting it. Mm, that's not good. Endless penis, why? And the Muslim they speak, is it logical that Jesus is God? I mean, look how logical they are. They are people of logic. Endless penis. Your wife is next to you and your penis is in, 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 in Jakarta? Brother, watch your eye. Because you might hit by an endless penis. 
You might receive a phone call from a China government saying, Ching ho ho hai ho ha, which means translation, can you please move your penis from the front of the railway train? Hmm. Now, let us look at this. All the verses in front of us are speaking about them going to other nations have nothing to do with the Jews. And those cowards, they are quoting for us chapters confirming that. This is why we call them fool. This is what happened when the fool became a teacher. Let us see. <clears throat> okay. Let us continue. Therefore, Jesus gave an instruction to mm. his 12 disciples mm. in order not to go to out to the other nation, <laughs> but to go to the lost sheep of Israelites. Mm. As the uh, message of Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew chapter number 10, verse number 5 and 6, mm. Jesus give an instruction. These 12 men were sent out by Jesus with the following instruction. Don't go to any gen Gentile territory of any Samaritan towns. Instead, you are to go to the long ship of the people of Israel. Mm, let us go to Matthew 10. I am very, very happy that you choose this chapter for us, brother. I'm very proud of you. Let us go to Matthew number 10, open it, and we will die laughing at this idiot. <clears throat> you know when the Muslims they uh, they try to prove a point uh, they show us not only that their God is not exist otherwise he should guide them to, say, to at least to speak smart look guys this is the chapter which he is quoting for us sending out the twelves and Jesus, he gave them instruction. These twelve, Jesus sent out, commanded them, saying, Do not go into the way of the Gentiles, and do not enter the city of Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because this is how the mission started. First, the Jews are the one who is waiting for Jesus, not anyone else. Nobody knows what Christ means. The only one is waiting for him now is the Jews. The rest do not know what does Christ mean for them. And you go there preaching, saying the kingdom of heaven is in the hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the liver, raise the dead, and cast out demon. Freely you receive, freely you give. Provide neither gold nor silver or copper as your money belt, nor beg for your journey. But here the important thing is, if the Muslims they are trying to convince us that Jesus was just a prophet, and he was sent only to the Jews, and the verse he is saying clearly, don't go to anyone except the children of Israel, how Jesus, he is saying to them, go, heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, and cast out demon. If Jesus is a prophet, he cannot make someone else do a miracle unless he is God. You see, the Mohammedan, they lie, they say Jesus is just a prophet, and Allah, by his leave, gave him ability to do miracles. But as you see, Muhammadan, who worship Muhammad, Jesus giving command, and I'm reading the verses, this guy he did choose for us, not my choice, to heal the sick, cleanse the red leper, raise the dead, cast out the demon. 
And this is exactly what we can find in the Quran in chapter 36. And we will go there later and we will read. So we can get him busted from Islam about his stupidity and the stupidity of his prophet before him. Now, as long as you are saying that Jesus, he gave command to go only to the children of Israel in this chapter, but in the same time, Jesus was going to other cities, which is for the Gentile. You see, as long as you chose this one for me, why you don't go to just the chapter after it? The chapter after it, where it says that now it came, uh, uh, come to pass when Jesus finished sending the 12 disciples and he depart from there. What Jesus did after that? Jesus, he went to the Gentiles. He went to Saida and Sur. Let us see. Do you see it? But I say to you, I will say to you, speaking to who? Tyre and Sidon. Those are not cities in Israel. Those are Gentile. He did miracle for them. And they did not believe. We cannot trust a Muslim explain to us any verse in any book, including his own book. If they cannot even explain their own book, how they can explain ours? Can they? Liars will die in fire. And later I'm going to show you how he destroyed Islam. Until now I'm just answering from the Bible, not from Islam. But soon after he finished, we will start hitting badly from Islam. And you will see the disaster will strike. Oh, not this one. Hold on. The other one. Continue, brother. The long sip of the people of Israel to make you, Prince, have a deep comprehension, please read an honest testimony of Jesus in the Gospel according to Matthew uh, chapter number 15 verse number 24 mm -hmm. then Jesus replied I have been sent only to the lost sheep of the people of Israel all right all right I mean here you get a point brother Matthew chapter 15 Jesus said I've been sent only to the lost sheep of Israel mm. And that is approving your point. Yeah, but my friend, if you want to quote the Bible, the Bible is a book. Jesus was sent to the Jews for the Jews are waiting for him, not someone else. But Jesus in the same time, he said in many other verses, and let me quote for you some, that he was sent not only for the Jews. And when you quote something from the Bible, you are being hypocrite if you don't quote the, list, the rest of it. Let us go to the Bible and see something important. Give me a second. Uh, <clears throat> he was quoting Matthew 15. Okay, give me a second. We will go to Matthew 15, so we can love. Them. 
Remember always when Muslims they quote something, they quote a verse. They will not quote quote for you a chapter. And the reason for that, because a chapter will get them busted. This is Matthew chapter 15. The same chapter, this idiot he quote for us. What is the title name? Gentile. Shower her faith. In the same chapter, is speaking about a woman who is not a Jew. And he was in the area of Sidon which is Sor and Saida in Lebanon. And a woman from the Canaan, Ken, uh, 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 in Arabic we say Canaan, she came to him crying. And she said to him, Have mercy on me, O God, the son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. So this is scumbag coward, he quote for us from the same chapter, a verse, to prove to us that Jesus only was sent to the Jews. But in the same chapter, verse number 21, it says that Jesus, he did accept the faith of a woman she is a gentile and she is not a jew and if we go back to his uh, statement you will see he was quoting for us verse number 24 so how he reached verse number 24 without reaching verse number 21 and 22 and 23 when the whole verses is about jesus accepting a woman who she worshipped him. If you read in verse number 25, look at this potato coward. And then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Do you see it, people? I'm happy for you, Mr. Omar. We have our brother there, Omar. He said, my family, my whole family left Islam. Don't thank me, my friend. Thank Jesus for helping you. I hope you accepted Christ too. Not only left the cult of Muhammad. Happy for you. Going back to the topic. Do you see, guys, that those people, they are out of decency? Do you see how they have no decency? How come he caught a verse, just the verse before it, from the middle of a story, and the whole story is about he is helping a woman and she accepts him as God and she worshiped him. And Jesus said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be you as you desire. And her daughter was healed in that very hour. Do you see it, Muslims? Do you see do you see the deception? Can we say that Mr. Insan, he did find out about this verse without reading the whole verse? The story? You see, this is a story. This is the story. A Gentile shower her faith. And this is about a woman, and there is no way to misunderstand because this is not a Jew. She is from Cana you know, She is from from the Canaanian. So how he missed that? And now we have additional proof that a woman she worshipped Jesus. Did Jesus say to her, "Don't worship me. I'm not. I'm just a prophet." The Christians. The Muhammadan, they say to you, show me where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Don't they? Don't they do that? 
Will the woman she worshipped Jesus, did he say to her, stop doing that? It's in front of you. Then she came and worshipped him. Anyone is taking reference for those who just learned something in the Bible? Where we can find this verse about somebody worshipping Jesus and he is not even from the Jew or she is not from the Jew? This is in Matthew chapter 15. So the same verses he quote for us is the same verses confirm the following. That Jesus, yes, he came to the Gentile. Yes, Jesus, he went to Sidon and Sur and he did miracles there. And yes, he accepted the faith of women from the Canaan. And yes, she worshipped him. And yes, you, Insan, the donkey who is making this video, you are a certified donkey and a deceiver and a liar. No Muslim will respect you after that. Because there is no way they will accept, if they have little decency, that you were able to read the chapter, but you forgot to read that this is a story about a Gentile. Shame on you, donkey. Shame on you. You have no dignity. And no Muslim should listen to you anymore. Guys, where is everybody? Why we have only one, just 1,300 watching? Okay, hold on. We will increase the number. Later, brothers and sisters, we are going to talk about the virgin in the heaven and how beautiful their <clears throat> brother. Shall I play the rest of the video? Or not worth it? I don't know. Eh, let us play a little bit more. And then we start hitting from Islam. Because already, I mean, there is nothing left of this guy to say. Continue, brother. Once more, Jesus replied, I have been sent only to the lost sheep of the people of Israel. If there is a verse which says that Jesus was sent to all over the world, based on the gospel according to Matthew chapter number 28, verse number 19, Jesus gave an instruction. Go to the people of all nations and make them my disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So, this verse, according to the expert, according to the expert, I like it when they say, according to the expert, you are you are certified donkey. Let us say that this verse is according to the expert is not there. But there is tons of verses, you donkey, saying the same. Is that according to the expert too, not there? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that who has ever believed in him should not be perished, but have everlasting life. Do you see it? And actually, you are the one who quote for us that Jesus will be called Emmanuel. God is with us. In John chapter 10, verse number 16, it says, And other sheep I have which not in this fold. In the same time, when we talk about uh, the Trinity, which Muslim they claim, from the same verses we quote, it says it clearly that the Trinity is exist. As you remember when Elizabeth, she said that he is going to be the father. He is, he is going, Mary, she is the mother of my Lord and the Holy Spirit is there. So what is mentioned? Mentioned Jesus. Mentioned that he is Lord. Mentioned the Holy Spirit. When Jesus get baptized, when Jesus get baptized, what happened? A voice came from heaven 
and says, this is my only begotten son. Who is the voice? In that verse, it's mentioned the Holy Spirit. It mentioned the Father. It mentioned the Son. Let us go in the same chapter we are showing in the screen. Instead of quoting one verse, read with me carefully. Jesus claimed that he is the good shepherd, he is God, for no one is good but God, every man is a sinner. And look what happened here. And Jesus, when he was baptized, Let us see. Give me a second. Therefore, though my father loves me because I lay down my life, nobody take it from me. And then we will see here. We are just trying to find how the Muslims they they try to to uh, to fabricate things say you of him and we will go to the baptism later say of you, uh, you of him whom the father has uh, uh, sanctified and sent into the world to where to the world you see the word though blasphemed because I, I said I am the Son of God. So Jesus here saying, I've been sent to the whole world and saying in the same time that he is the Son of God. Is that going to satisfy Mr. Insan? No, for he is a fraud. Do you see it? Muslims, does it say that Jesus says, I've been sent into the world? Somebody might say, okay, so how he said, I've been sent only to the children of Israel? Because they are the ones waiting for him. This is where they start. This is why he's born from the children of Israel between them. Because they are the ones waiting for him. The rest are not. But in the same time, Jesus, he was sent as a mercy for all mankind. And he loved the world. And there's tons of verses speaking of that. Which means they lie when they say to you what they say. If we go to Matthew chapter 3. <clears throat> Look what Matthew chapter 3 says. Remember, this man, he called for us Matthew. So, let us see what happened. John baptized Jesus. Then Jesus came to the Galilee, to John, at the Jordan, to be baptized. him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. <laughs> Do you see it, guys? John the Baptist saying to him, I need to be baptized by you. You are coming to me? But Jesus answered to him, said, Permit it it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill the righteousness. Then he allowed him. And look what happened. Verse number 16. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water. And behold, the heaven were open to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, 
whom I am well pleased. The coward, the liars, they say that the, 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 the Trinity is a fabrication. Jesus never mentioned Trinity. But look what happened here. We have the Holy Spirit mentioned in this verse. We have the Son. And we have God from heaven saying, this is my beloved Son. The Trinity in front of you. And this is how we get you busted. This is the best you have. You are a certified idiot. And now he will repeat the same as he said to me before that Jesus died, which means he agree Muhammad is a fraud. Look what he will say. But was not say by Jesus once more. This first, according to the experts, the expert. was not said by Jesus. My friend, according to those experts, it says to all nations. But the last part, it say they, those experts you are calling them. It doesn't say in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You are a stupid donkey. You don't even know what you are talking about. Continue, continue. Jesus. It is because they put the first of Trinity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit into the mouth of Jesus. It is impossible for Jesus to teach about Trinity because it um, emerged in AD 325 while Jesus died in AD 29. Take a note, Muslims. This guy, he admitted that Muhammad is a fraud, he's a liar. Jesus died in the age, oh, sorry, in the year AD 29. Did you hear it? It's impossible for Jesus to do that. And he claiming that this has happened, the Trinity appeared in the 300 something after Jesus. But isn't it your Muslim you claim that John, he wrote the gospel, and Luke, he wrote the gospel, and Mark wrote the gospel? Are they those are 300 years after Jesus? You stupid. The books we are reading, are they written 300 years after Jesus? Stupidity. The meeting he is talking about, they keep repeating this meeting. This meeting did not. And this guy, that this donkey, he said that this meeting because they want to refute somebody who claimed that there is no trinity. That's false. The guy, he did not say there is no trinity. Actually, he confirmed it. The, this agreement was, the whole meeting is not about the trinity. The whole meeting is about if Jesus was, exists, before his God, the Father, according to this cult, God the Father created God. That God, his name is Jesus. And this Jesus, he created the whole universe. So this is what the meeting was about. So even this cult, which you liar, trying to make a story out of it, confirmed that Jesus is God, confirmed that Jesus created the whole universe, Confirm that a human being never knew any God except Jesus. And this is telling us that those Muslims who made statement, they don't even read. They are illiterate like their prophet. So it is almost 300 years See? after Jesus died. It occurred when bishop upon okay we'll repeat the same thing now guys let us get him busted from the cult of islam shall we remember this, this the whole video is about what is about jesus was sent only to israel just to refresh your memory because now we start blabbering about about previous topic when we we, we got him busted with those already was only sent to his own people the children of israel okay let us get you busted you stupid donkey and i'm going to leave my five finger marks in your ass forever already i have them there you just accused your prophet to be a fraud all muslim listen carefully this man he made this video in the purpose to prove that jesus was only sent for the children of israel so anyone who will say this is not a true he's a liar what if I show you your prophet saying that Jesus was sent to all mankind? What you will do? 
Is that a good deal? If I show you that your prophet said that Jesus was sent to all mankind and he sent his disciples to speak all languages, do you Muslims agree? that this man is a certified donkey and anyone who claimed that Jesus was sent only to Israel is a donkey? You have to agree because either you agree or you have to agree that Muhammad is a donkey, choose one. I will leave that for you. Let me go and get some reference so we can love. <clears throat> the book of Asir al Halabiya, the biography of Muhammad Asir al Halabiya, volume number two, page number two to nine. Let me see. It's in Arabic and the text is extremely not clear. Three to nine, sorry, three to nine. Three to nine. It says here. And I'm going to translate, I will use Google Translation. Give me a second. وعند عزمه صلى الله عليه وسلم على إرسال الكتب وتكلم مع أصحابه في ذلك خرج على, على أصحابه يوما فقال يا أيها الناس إن الله بعثني رحمة وكافة فأدعو so, uh, فأدعوني رحمة لكم okay. uh, فأدعو عني رحمكم رحمكم الله Look what he's saying. Muhammad, when he decided to uh, send books, which means letters, and he mentioned that to his companion. And his companion, he came to his companion, he said, Oh people, Allah, he sent me as a mercy to all. فأدو عني رحمكم الله So, uh, do, do my duty, like, you know, do what I'm saying. As Allah have mercy on you. ولا تختلفوا علي كما اختلف الحواريون على عيسى. And don't be uh, differ about the same as happened with the, the apostle of Jesus about Jesus. And then his companion they said فقال أصحابه رضي الله تعالى عنهم وكيف اختلف الحواريون على عيسى. And how the disciple of عيسى they differ about عيسى or رسول الله. He said قال دعاهم لمثل ما دعوتكم له I, he asked them to do the same as I told you فأما من بعثه مبعثا قريبا فرضي وسلم وأما من بعثه مبعثا بعيدا فكره وأبا Translation The one who he sent him to, to close by location he was happy and he accepted and the one, who, the one who sent him to far away distance, he hated that and he refused. So Isa, he complained to his God. Praise him. And in the morning, each one of them, he found himself speaking in the language of the people he was sent to. Of what? of the language of people he was sent to. Let me open this in Google uh, uh, page. Give me a second, browser, because I'm not using Google browser now, so we can translate. I don't know if this one will allow translate to English. Let us try. Maybe it will allow, let us see, translate to English. But let me first pause the link for those people because usually, if I translate to English, I cannot go back. Guys, this is the link. Who won the reference? By the way, this is posted in a Shia website, but this is not a Shia book, because most of them might say to you, oh, this is in a Shia website. I'm just getting you the reference. This is a Shia library, but the book is a Sunni. All right? The book is a Sunni, not Shia, because they might say to you, oh, this is Shia. Uh, did you get the reference? All right. Let us see if we can translate. Use Google Translation. Translate to English. 
try again it's not working okay so we have to use google translation give me a second all right it is we have to uh, in order to be able to use google you have to use their browser other browser will not work let us do this be my witness muslims this is your prophet saying jesus was sent to all mankind and the miracle about disciple of jesus spoke many languages translate to english well this is not okay hold on still this one is not go, go, go. this is different browser hold on hold on where is here this guy here we go and now what this guy will say he will say he's a prophet is a liar yeah he might say it trust me they are willing to do anything just to to the to to fight the christianity they hate jesus to death yet they claim that they love jesus but nobody hates jesus as islam islam is number one enemy to his to, to christianity and to jesus himself read with me carefully translate what's happening here yeah hold on hold on for some reason it's not allowing me to translate hold on okay i think we'll work with this one all right bingo now we will be able to do it no way muslims read with me translation to english actually i will try to translate too to uh, indonesian language but after we finish the, the english translation first The Prophet said, the Messenger of Allah said, and this is the book of Asira al Halabiyah, volume number two, page number uh, 329. Uh, when the Prophet he decided to send books, he talked to his companion in that day, and he went out to the companion in that day, and he says, People, God has sent me as a mercy to all, and they have uh, mercy on me. May God have mercy on you. Don't disagree with me, the same as disciple of Jesus differ with him. So his companion, they said to him, how did the disciple differ with, on Jesus? He said, oh, Messenger of Allah, how did, it, how, how did the disciple they differ with him? He said, he invited them to do same as I, I called you uh, to do. As who for whoever he sent him in a missionary to like in close area the translation is not accurate he like it the one who sent him that he like it he accepted and the one who sent him far away distance he hated and then the isa jesus he complained to his god almighty so that they became each one of them spoke a language of the people who address them do you see it people do you see it so if jesus was only sent to the jews why muhammad saying that when jesus he ordered his disciple to go to far away and what far away mean maybe inside israel maybe uh, uh, 40 kilometer away or mile away from jerusalem no far away to other nation muhammad claimed that when he ordered them to go far away they complain so the one who was sent in a close distance he was happy he did not complain and the one he was sent in a far distance he was complaining and then isa he complained to his god as you see muhammad saying that and in the morning each one of his disciple was speaking different language as the language he was sent to the nation to speak to which mean muhammad he confirmed 
that Jesus he sent his disciple to all mankind you idiot and you are saying to me that G Muhammad is a liar that's what you are saying this is what this guy he said people did you say the reference I gave you again this is the reference it's in the front of your eyes and now what the Muslim they will say oh we don't accept this hadith we don't like this hadith for sure you will not accept it we knew it nothing new you are a Muslim <laughs> you are a Muslim you pick up your cherries now what we go about we go to tafsir al-tabari sorry al-qurtubi al-qurtubi let me open al-qurtubi give me a second this is tafsir al-qurtubi value number 18 page number 90 قال الله لعيسى إذا دخلت القرية فآت النهر الذي عليه القصرون. So Allah supposedly he said to Isa when you enter a, a, a village, uh, you know, go to those people, or certain people he want him to talk to, and then ask him to help you. فأتاهم عيسى وقال من أنصار الله so Isa, he came to them and he said, who is my helpers to Allah? They said, we are. And they became his helper. And this is where the word Nasara supposedly came from, which is very funny. And this is why it says in chapter 3, verse number 1, uh, uh, Al-Umran, sorry, chapter uh, Al-Umran, the verse says, so a group of the people of Israel believe in him and the other group became a disbeliever. And this is exactly about the Nasara. You remember I told you before, there's a group of the Jews they wanted to keep uh, like uh, they, they have they have their own vision of the messiah that the messiah is god yet he is because god he you know the god the father he loved him very much there is no way he will allow him to be tortured so god the father he made someone look in his image in the cross and this is what muhammad he got the story from from those nasara this is why he's saying a group of Israel believe and a group disbelieve. The group who believe, according to the Quran, is those are Nasara, which is a Christian sect, false Christian sect, being refused by the Christians. But yet they believe that Jesus is God anyway. And they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And then he continues saying that Allah, he supported those who believe against those who don't believe and they became victorious and this is very stupid because the one who became victorious is not those those people disappear the quran says that i will make those who follow thee victorious until the judgment day if we go in the yellow pages of muhammad we will find the following Oh, Lord have mercy. Stupidity is amazing. <clears throat> Give me a second. I'm trying to find the interpretation so the Muslim they will not say but let us go first to the verse in the Quran so we can laugh together <clears throat> Uh, 
The Quran promised those who believe in Jesus to be victorious into the judgment day. That's mean Christianity will not change and will be only one version of Christianity. But as we know, Nasara does not exist. There's no Nasara no more. Behold, Allah said, O Jesus, I will take thee and raise thee to myself. By the way, it doesn't say, I will take thee and raise thee to myself. No, it says, I take thee after I make you die. إذ قال الله يا عيسى إني متوفيك I will cause your death and then I will take you to me and this is why if you change the translation translator you will find a different totally different translation depend in the lies of the translator go to different translator you will see how things will change I will take you and raise you to myself where is where it says uh, it cause you to die it's it's, it's gone it's gone, totally gone. But the important for us here, it says, that I will make those who follow thee victorious over those who they are kuffar until the judgment day. And look how Muslim they add between two brackets, things is not in the Quran. And I will make those who follow you, follow who Isa, victorious until the judgment day okay where is the one who follow isa and they are victorious until the judgment day and they worship allah they bit between two bracket those who they are monotheist who worship none but allah can you show me those christians who they are monotheist worship only allah they don't accept jesus as god No Christian worship Allah and no Christian believe in the teaching of Muhammad. And yes, we are monotheist, but we believe in the Trinity. And they add this to be into bracket just to cover the shame of Muhammad because he promised that those who believe in Jesus will go to heaven. That's mean the book of Jesus never been corrupt. For how they can be victorious if their book is gone? And as long as you are saying to me, until the day of judgment, this is not temporarily. This is not about a group was in the time of Muhammad or etc. For it says it clearly, until judgment day, in the until they will be those who follow thee, superior to those who did not, who reject the faith, faith of who of Isa, to the day of resurrection. Can the Muslims say they are? This is about Muslim. No. Because Muslim, they follow Muhammad, not the Isa. Those who follow Isa, they follow the book of Isa. Where is the book of Isa? Another stupid mistake in the Quran. So look what happened now. We have Al Qurtubi. We have a, we have the Islamic interpretation. We have Muslim books saying that Muhammad he sent the Isa to all mankind, and those who follow Isa, they are victorious. And Allah, he made a miracle to Isa. He made all those who follow Isa, the disciple, speak many languages, as we showed you Muhammad saying that. But are we done? We are not. Give me a second, guys. I will get some water, please. My throat is dry. <clears throat>
All right. Now we continue. So when the Muslims they say that Jesus was only sent for mankind, and their prophet he said the opposite, and their books says the opposite, then they need to explain to us their stupidity. As an example, if we go to Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, which book? Ibn Kathir, Qisasul Anbiya. This is Ibn Kathir in the book of Qisasul Anbiya. It says the following. And it's mentioned by Ibn Jarir and Muhammad ibn Ishaq that Isa, peace be upon him, before he been taken to heaven, وَصَّ الْحَوَارِيِّينَ بِأَنْ يَدْعُوا النَّاسَ إِلَىٰ عِبَادَةِ اللَّهِ وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ وَعَيَّنَ كُلَّ وَاحِدٌ مِّنْهُمْ إِلَىٰ طَائِفَ مِنَ النَّاسِ فِي إِقْلِيمٍ مِّنْ الْأَقَانِيمِ الشَّامِ وَالْمَشْرَقِ وَبِلَادِ الْمَغْرِبِ فذكروا أنه أصبح كل إنسان منهم يتكلم بلغة الذين أرسله المسيح عليهم. Translation. It's mentioned by Ibn Jarir from Muhammad from the son of Isaac that Isa peace be upon him before he was taken to heaven he taught the Hawarin which means the disciple to call people into worshiping one God with no partners and he taught each one of them to be sent to a group of people in a territory of the territories in a sham which means like Syria Iraq Jordan etc and the, the the countries of the east and the countries of the west and it's mentioned that in the morning each one of them of those disciples he woke up and he speak a new language as the messiah he asked him to go for you see it this is what this is ibn kathir and not only that again this is the book of qisas al anbiya let me see if i can get you uh, the exact page number Here we go. We found the page number. Ibn Kathir, variant number two, page number 119. The book of Al Bidaya, this is, this is a different book here actually. I found it in a different book. Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya. You see, this is written in many books. The book of Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya speaking about those people they woke up and they found themselves because jesus he ordered them to go to different territory they woke up and each one of them he spoke different languages so you muslims you lie and you say that whoever believed that jesus was sent only to the jews is wrong because even your books is against you and your prophet himself is against you so we have to consider either you are lying or your prophet is a liar which one? And not only that, by the way, in the same book here, let me be sure that this is the book of Qisas al Anbiya. Is it Qisas al Anbiya? Uh, man, this is English page here. This is like because this is Wikipedia. Yeah, Ibn, yeah this is Qisas al Anbiya, the Ibn Kathir, value number two. Yeah. And the other one. Is Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya. It's the same thing anyway, you know, the Al Bidaya and Nihaya and Qasas Al Anbiya, because Ibn Kathir is just a, he's, you know, he copy, he, he, he claim he's making books or making statements, but the guy, he just copy what he said here, he put it there in the same time. He repeat himself all over. So look what he says too. And from those who believe in the Messiah, from the people of Damascus, a man, he, he was called Dina. Who is saying that? Ibn Kathir. Is Damascus is the land of the Jews? No. At that time, it's the land 
of the Roman, occupied by the Roman, but the people there, they are Syrian. And they are Aramaic, not Arab. And then he was ran away, hiding from a person, his name, Paulus, the Jew, which means Paul. And Paulus was a very aggressive and just man. He hated the Messiah. And when he came to him, and he was shaving his head, when he heard about the Messiah, he that he uh, 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 like his 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 nephew supposed to believe in the Messiah. He shaved his head, and then he walk walk him with shame around the town, and then he killed him. May Allah have mercy on him. Ibn Kathir is saying that Paul he killed the person who believed in the Messiah, and Paul he killed him. But look what happened after that. And then when Paul he heard that the Messiah he went to Damascus. What? He heard that the Messiah went to Damascus. He took his mule and he went to fight him. And then he met him in an area called Kaukaba. And then when he faced the companion of the Messiah, an angel came to him and he hit his face by the edge of his wing and he made him blind. And when Paul, he saw this, he failed that he should believe in the Messiah. So he came to the Messiah and he apologized for what he did. And then he believed in him and it was accepted from him. And then he asked the Messiah to give him back his, his, his eyes, eyesight. So the Messiah, he wiped wipe his eyes and Allah gave him back his vision. Do you see it? This is in your books. And they attack Paul and they say lies about Paul and all the fabrication. Of, but in their books, it says the opposite. In their books, it says that Jesus sent his disciple to everywhere. And this story here confirmed that God, he made them speak all languages. And Jesus sent them to all territory. So why they lie? Because they are liars. In the book of Asir al-Halabiyya, which we mentioned, chapter 3, verse number uh, 339 in this page here, it says the same story about Jesus was sent, how, how supposedly the miracle of his disciples, they speak in different languages. And I will post the link for you guys, so you can read it and you can post it and you can translate, you can use your own Google translation, open your Google browser, and you can do the translation. And this is Muhammad himself confirming that Jesus, disciple, they spoke all languages and he sent them to all mankind. But are we done? No. We are not. We just started. If we go to Ibn Kathir, the interpretation of chapter 36 Verse number 14, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You will see that there's a three messengers were sent by Jesus to the city of Antioch. Read carefully. And we enforce them with the third one. This is what? Again, chapter what? Chapter what? Chapter 36, verse number 13, 14, 15, 16. Interpretation. Ibn Kathir. And we enforce them with the third. Okay, there's two messengers was sent. And then Allah, he infers them with the third. Allah, supposedly the God. But we find that this God is Jesus. Read carefully. Means we supported them, we strengthened them with the third messenger. Ibn Juraj said, narrated from Ibn Wahab, Ibn Sulaiman, from Shu'aib. And by the way, they will say to you, oh, I will not accept this guy. We can show you from other narration, have nothing to do with those names. Saying the same story. The name of the first two messengers was Shamoon which means Simon. And the second is Johanna, which means John. And the third was Paulus. And the city was Antioch. So the stupid idiot, he said, Jesus was sent only to the Jews when his books and his Quran says that Jesus, he sent messengers and their names. They will say to you, it doesn't say that in the Quran. It says that in the Quran. How we knew? Because you Muslim, do you accept my interpretation or the scholar interpretation? 
Otherwise, you need to tell me why Ibn Kathir is lying here and saying this is about those three messengers if have nothing to do with Jesus. How all Muslim scholars agree that those messengers are messengers of Jesus. If it's have nothing to do with Jesus. And how the city of Antioch, according to this idiot, is a city of Israel. City of Antioch today is in Turkey and never been part of Israel. Do you see it? So when those stupid who call themselves teachers, they make a fabrication, their fabrication will not fit with them. But now I will do the same game he did, just to show you how deception works. Remember, it is him who quote for us verses saying Jesus was sent only to the children of Israel, correct? Let me refresh your memory, even if the video is getting longer, but education is good. Let me refresh your memory. If you do so, you will surely find that Jesus was only sent to his own people, the children of Israel. Okay, I will use, okay, I will do the same as you did. I will quote a verse, I will prove Muhammad was only sent to the Arab. Is that fair, guys? This is what he did. This is what he did, be my witness. He took a verse out of the holy chapter to play with it. Can I do the same? Do you allow me? Let us go and do. My fingers will leave mark in your bum forever, you idiot. What the Quran says about Muhammad, he was sent where? Chapter 6, verse number 92. And this is a book which we have sent down, bring blessing and confirming the revelation. Confirming what? You see the translation is false. It says confirming revelation with, uh, which came before it. It doesn't say that. It says what is between his hand. Always they lie about this statement. And then to where? To which, to which country, which which city, which place, which come before the, you, to you. I mean, look at this translation. This is a horrible translation. Let's, let's show us something we can read. In English, we can even understand. This is easier. And this is the Quran, blessed book, which have sent down confirming the revelation which came before it, which we saw you. It says, which means what is between his hand. So that you may warn the mother of the towns, i.e. Mecca, and what is around it. Do you see it? It is Muhammad was sent to Mecca, and what is around it? Is Australia around it? Is America around it? Is Damascus around it? This is the Quran. So now you will say to me, ah, you know, this is in the beginning, it says that, but there's verses saying that he was sent to all mankind. You see the hypocrisy you have? You're a scumbag. In fact, the Quran have many proof that Muhammad was supposed to send only to the Arab. And as long as we decide to spank you from, from the Quran, as usual we do, we will find many statements in the Quran proving to us something very weird about Muhammad. If you go to different verse in the Quran, like this one, let us see. Chapter 42, verse number 7. It says the same. We have sent by inspiration to thee an Arabic Quran. Arabic what? Quran. So what? So you might warn the mother of the cities, which is Mecca, and what is around her. What is the Quran? Is in Arabic. So who is going to understand the Arabic language? 
You see, we showed you from the story of Jesus that even Muhammad agree that the disciple of Jesus being given a miracle, they can speak all languages and Jesus send them to all mankind. That makes sense. But the Quran confirmed that Allah, he sent the book in Arabic so you might warn the mother of the villages, Mecca, and what is around it. But is that enough to prove to us? We, it's enough, but we will give you more. Why we will stop here? If we go in chapter 14, verse number 4, it says, We never send the messenger except to teach in the language of his people. Listen carefully. Who is saying that the Quran? Allah will never send a messenger to any people unless they speak the tongue of the people. Muhammad cannot be a messenger for Indonesia. Who said that the Quran? Muhammad cannot be a messenger to India. India have more than 300 languages. Muhammad cannot be a messenger to Germany, France. All languages in the world because Allah never sent a messenger except to teach the language of his people. Now if we compare between what Muhammad said that Jesus disciple they spoke the language all languages of mankind as we showed you here in their own books as an example as Sirah Halabiya volume number 2 verse uh, page number uh, 329 where Muhammad he said that the Jesus he sent his disciple to all areas and those who they are being sent to the close area they were happy and those who he decided to send them to far distance area they were unhappy so Allah he made a miracle and he made them speak all languages of each nation Jesus was sent to all languages in front of you and the same is exist in the chapter of 36 verse number 14 in the Quran and we showed you the interpretation of Ibn Kathir where he said that those are three messengers was sent their, their name is Shamun and Yohanna and the third is Paulus and the city was Antioch and did miracles too they did miracles in the name of Jesus but look as long Allah confirmed that the Quran was inspired by Arabic to warn Mecca and what is around Mecca and Allah he said he will never send a messenger unless to teach in the language of his people but why in order to make things clear to them which means Allah will not make a book which people cannot read the Quran says that not me so how Muhammad became a messenger for you you stupid idiot do you see the verse we ne we send not no exception we send not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people. So he have to be from the people, speak in the language of the people, and not the language of someone else. Islam destroyed. Islam is a joke. And you Muslims, you claim that Khadija, she was the wife of Muhammad and she was a Christian. So you just said that anyone who is not not a Jew, he is not accepted to follow Jesus. This is what you are saying. That's mean Khadija is a kafir. Khadija is a fraud. For according to you, she is not allowed to follow Jesus. For Jesus came only to the Jews. Stupid you. And now let us get you another nail in the size of six meters. Will go in your bum, will come from your mouth. If we go in the hadith, We will go in the hadith. I hope you will be able to take this uh, this nail. It's so huge for you. Isn't you Muslim believe in everything Muhammad he said? And isn't Muhammad said that Jesus Christ will come and he will rule the whole earth, you idiot donkey? So if Jesus was only sent, and you are the one who said to us, you quote for us a verse saying that his kingdom will never end. Guys, did he quote that? Did he quote? That Jesus will have a kingdom and his kingdom will never end. Let us scroll the video again. To see where he said that. Here. Here we go. 
Sabtu Sakti Sri First number 31 You will become pregnant and give birth to a son And you will name him Jesus He will be great and will be called the son of the most high God The Lord God will make him a king As his ancestor David was And he will be the king of the descendant of Jacob forever Thank you stupid He will be the king of what? You remember I said this guy he just said to us A kingdom will never end Read carefully where is the kingdom of Jesus and he will be king for who? Your prophet says he will rule the whole earth. Jesus will descend amongst you. Who? He was speaking in his time to the Arab in front of him, you idiot donkey. So if Jesus was sent only to the Jews, how come he is coming back to all of us? And how he will be just ruler for the earth. In Arabic it says Hakaman Muqsitan He is a just, absolute, just ruler No one can be just save God Actually one of the names of Allah He called himself Al-Adil He will be just judge And just ruler If there is anyone can be judge And just save God No one Because a human being he Judge by his knowledge Correct people? So if you bring me four witnesses or two witnesses, they witness against you, even if they are false, I believe them. This is what the law says. I saw this guy committing the crime. If two people witness against you, you go to jail. You cannot be just unless you are the almighty God because you know the unseen, so nobody can lie to you. So look what happened here. Jesus the Christ, if he was sent only to the Jews, then his kingdom should stay with the Jews and he should come back to the Jews. So why he is coming to all mankind and he will rule the whole earth? And why Muhammad saying he will descend among you? You are a certified donkey. And this is Sahih Hadith. Exists in all kind of Islamic books as you see. So you cannot say to us, this is the Eve. The only the if is you. You Muslims are copy-paste people. Even copy-paste, you do not know how to do it. Stupidity is amazing. And by the way, they do the same to Moses. They say that Moses was sent to who? He was sent to the Jews. But is it your stupid Quran says that Moses and Aaron they were sent to the Pharaoh? So how he was sent to the Jews but yet he was sent to the Pharaoh? Inviting him to believe in Allah. They all of them they repeat the same thing for they are people suffering from diarrhea of stupidity. Read. Then we send our messengers Every time they came to the people, those messengers They accused them of falsehood Okay, who are those messengers he's talking about now? Then we sent Moses and his brother Aaron With our sign and authority to manifest To the Pharaoh To Pharaoh but I thought Moses was sent only to the Jews. But Moses now is coming with his miracles, not to the Jews. He's coming with his miracles to Pharaoh. And they said to them, they said, shall we believe in two men like ourselves? So Allah, he sent Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh to make him believe but every single Muslim he will repeat the same Moses was sent to the Jews Jesus was sent to the Jews Jacob was sent to the Jews the Jews the Jews the Jews the Jews 
then when we read their books, we will find a contradiction of what they say. And the Quran follows verses about the story of Moses speaking to Pharaoh and how one of the Pharaoh followers believed in Moses. So Moses was sent to the Jews only to. Actually, just to show you the stupidity of those people. In chapter 10, verse number 94, Allah said to Muhammad, if you, if you have a doubt about what will reveal to thee, go and ask the Christian and the Jews. So why he is saying Christians and Jews? Why he called them Jews? If Jesus was sent to the Jews, then the Christian should not be called a Christian. Should be called Jews. <laughs> Are we listening, guys? Why we are called the Christian if we are Jews anyway, if the only Christian can be Jews? Do you see the stupidity? If Jesus was sent only to the Jews, so why you are calling the Jews Jews and you call the Christian Christian, you donkey? Is it your Quran who said that those who they are Jews? And those who they are a Christian, they will go to heaven. If all the Jews are Christian anyway, and there is no Christian except the Jews, so what do you mean the Jews and the Christian will go to heaven? I cannot find one Muslim to debate me to feel like I am struggling to answer. I am finding a difficulty. I am debating someone is super intelligent. It is impossible for a very simple reason for you follow a donkey how you can be a mule you cannot be high rank than the one you follow you follow a donkey you are smaller than the donkey now how many people will download the video and share it around and add subtitle please I'm not going to continue because it's you know it's endless. It's endless. Stupidity is amazing. Stupidity is literally amazing. And the funny this guy, each time we get him busted, he ignores the video we make. He don't like a, a, a play my video, say Christian Prince, he says that, let me get him busted because he cannot do that. We are showing him what his prophet said, what his book says, what his hadith says. Jesus is the ruler of mankind. The, your prophet said that. The disciple of Jesus, Allah made them speak many languages. Your prophet says that. Now, are you going to say my prophet is a liar? Say it. I agree. Your prophet is a liar even when he tells the truth. Because when he tells the truth, he tells it to deceive. Not to tell the truth. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy our channel. And, and by the way, don't uh, give me a names, refute this guy. There's a thousand of Muslim kids. They make videos against me. They don't count for us. If you want to bring me, bring me someone big. Not a child here, a child there. Big, someone claimed to be a scholar. Bring me, this, bring me someone. You know, if we spank him, it's worth, worth the spank. So don't tell me, uh, refute this guy, this guy, he made a video for you. They are kids. As you see, if those are the elders, how about their kids? If those are the elders, so what we can say? Yeah, we cannot, we can, I, can, I cannot call anyone, you see, because if I call them, they will say he's harassing us. Even they can call the police for you. They play victims. You have to be careful. You know what I mean? 
if you call them they will say this is a Christian prince etc blah 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 and you know be careful be careful my friend don't just go and start calling and, and like I want to debate you this first of all we are not kids secondly is not how you do it if they have live program live on air and they have a phone number I will call but I'm not call a center says I want to debate you that's not right because then they are asking everybody to call then I would call the same as I did with the Dean show I called them they did not let me go through they noticed my voice as simple as that you see in the Dean show they say anyone call us a brother and sister and then he have a phone cell phone in his hand and the, the, the phone did not even ring he opened hello yeah uh -huh, uh -huh, sister oh, okay brother uh -huh. Uh, okay okay but nobody is talking we hear nothing because it's a fake so they say call us but the fact and they claim that somebody call and ask questions but you do not even hear the one who call why because this is a fabricated program they don't dare to open calls for people to call it's fake uh, brother you want to accept shahada alhamdulillah brother he just called us you want to accept shahada anyway uh, so guys uh, please download the video I will see if I can go back live on air again if I feel I'm not uh, tired. did we save the reference did we save the reference we have tons of reference endless reference how many of you did, uh, did save the reference of Al-Qurtubi as an example I don't know if this one can go because there's Arabic uh, font in it but let me if I can do this. Um, <clears throat> oh, actually, I did not mention this one. Hold on. Let me see if I can give you a link for it. All right. This is Al Qurtubi. Uh, there's Arabic uh, font, so the link would be long. Let us see different website. Maybe this one. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me shorten the link because when there is an Arabic font in this in the in the title, it doesn't appear in Google. Uh, link shorten. Let us see. All right. Open this link, guys. So you can open it because this is the only way we can open it. Open this link. And this link is the book of Al Qurtubi. Let us show this one. And maybe we are done for today. Uh, let us see. This is the book of Al Qurtubi, very number eighteen, page number ninety. All right, it says here. It's mentioned that this ayah sent down about Isa, peace be upon him. And Ibn Isaac, he said, Ibn Ishaq, he said, that from those who Isa, he sent him, it was the disciple, al Hawarim. Well, at Ba, and look at the names, even they cannot even quote the name correctly of the Jesus disciple. So one of them, his name is Futros. Futros? Jesus, he have a disciple, his name is Futros. <coughs> and the other one is Bolos, which means Paul, to the city of Romia. And Andreas and Matthew, or Matta, to the land where the people in it, 
التي يأكل أهلها الناس to the land where people they eat a human and Thomas was sent to the land of the Babylon on the and the, and the land of the east and Philippus was sent to Cartagena in Africa like Tunis and uh, Algeria etc and there's a guy his name is Yahnus this is what they are saying to discuss the 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 uh, uh, the city of the people of the cave the people of the cave and by the way the city of the cave this this story alone how how you say that Jesus was sent only for the Jews but the people of the cave are not Jews stupidity and Yaqubus who was sent to Jerusalem and Ibn Talma he was sent to Arabia and this is the land of the Arabian Peninsula Al-Hijaz and Simon was sent as I'm reading the word as it is says here Simon Simon not Simon Ila Ardi al-Barbar to the barbarian land and Yehuda and Bardas who is Bardas was sent to Alexandria and what is around it and Allah, he gave them all what they need. Do you see it? This is what? This is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, volume number 18, page number 90. Yet this donkey, he's trying to prove to us that Jesus was only sent to the Jews. I don't blame them. They are just copied, paste nation. This is what they learned from the dummy around them, not from scholars. And they repeat whatever they heard. Garbage, garbage in, garbage out. This is why I am not surprised. Please download the video, share it with your friend, and we give you the link already. This is the link for Al Qurtubi for those who want to save reference. And enter, we'll see you again. Maybe tonight I will be again live on air if I can. Until then, may the Lord bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you like always to be updated you can join us in Patreon page uh, and you know you can always get an update when we go live on air. You don't have to do donate. I mean donation is for those who can or help but this is a page where I post when I want to go live on air so you will be informed that the Christian Prince will be live soon. All right and you can join us in Facebook. Let us put the Facebook page too where I post but Facebook usually I post right before I go live on air but in Patreon I post in advance uh, Facebook and minds.com and Patreon so see which one is good for you Twitter I use it from time to time but not all the time all right so this is how we answer them. And you will see that this guy, he will never play my videos. I challenge him to post my video as it is respond to him in his, in his channel. I challenge him to refute what I said. Stop just going one after one without answering me. You see, I am answering you and I am spanking you. Oh, what you say, episode number four to, uh, to Christian Prince, episode number five. It is you who confirm that your prophet is a liar by quoting for us a book. Why you don't make a video, explain to us how you asking us Christians to read this book. And you are saying this is a book of expert. And you believe in it to be telling the truth. When this book says Muhammad is a fraud and Jesus was not a messenger of anyone and Mary, she was not a virgin. Don't you want to explain to the Muslims how you accuse your prophet to be a fraud? Because this is what the book is saying. That Jesus was a crucified. The Quran says no. Mary, she was not a virgin, according to this book. The Quran says no. And you are the one saying that this book tells the truth. You skip, you disappear for three days, you thought we will forget about it? We will not. I advise people to search for the same titles you see in his videos in the same time you will find my videos appearing all over the internet posted and with subtitle by Indonesian people thank you very much guys for being here may the Lord bless you 
and I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord, and Islam is defeated under the feet of our Lord, the Messiah Christ, the good God, the holy, the amazing wise, not a person who is a pimp, child molester, killer, thief, even his followers accuse him of stealing underwear. This is the quality of Muhammad, and this is the quality of Jesus. While we are debating with Muslims if Jesus is God or not, we are debating about Muhammad if he is a child molester, criminal, thief, underwear thief. And here you see the difference. We are debating what makes Jesus, why you think Jesus is God, because he's so good. And the Muslims cannot deny that. No one like Jesus in this earth. No one like Jesus in this earth, neither in heaven. Even Muslims agree. The only one, according to Islam, without sin, Muslims have to agree. The only one is coming back while everybody die, Muslims have to agree. The only one who can resurrect from the death any creature, the Muslims have to agree. The only one who can create from the mud, the bird, a living being, the Muslims have to agree. The one who can make the blind see, heal the leper, and tell you what you hide in your houses, the Muhammadan have to agree. So what we can agree about Muhammad? The following. He married children. He was a criminal. He kidnapped people. He killed them. He raped them. He steal their money. He's a thief. He made verses saying, any woman she want to sleep with me, she is welcome. The fifth of the booty to me. Allah favor me. How he favor me? By sexual privilege and money privilege. All the privilege of Muhammad is about sex and money. How we can follow such an evil man? Thank you for watching. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.